तो बेटा इट से कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग डेटा सेट यू आर गिवन वीकली इनकम एंड यू आर गिवन वीकली कंजम्पन एंड इट गोज अड एंड इट से यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट पार्ट वन आई रिमेंबर आई थिंक सो इट वॉज फाइंड कंडीशनल मीन ऑफ बाय और फाइंड कंडीशनल वीकली कंजम्पन हाँ तो क्या करना है ना इट्स वेरी सिंपल फॉर यू विल होल्ड एटी कॉन्स्टेंट एंड एटी के अगेंस्ट जो भी वैल्यूज आ रहा होगा यू विल गो हेड एंड फाइंड द मीन वैल्यू देयर सो यू विल हैव फिफ्टी फाइव प्लस सिक्सटी प्लस सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस सेवेंटी प्लस सेवेंटी फाइव बाय फाइव एंड वेन यू विल डू दिस देन यू विल गो हेड एंड गेट द आंसर एज सिक्सटी फाइव सिमिलरली यू विल गो इन टू द नेक्स्ट वन and when you will hold x at 100 uh, when you will hold income at 100 fir aap sara weekly consumption ko again you will add 65 plus 70 plus 74 plus 80 plus 85 plus 88 divided by how many observation are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so divided by 6 and when you will be doing this now then you will get the next term as 77 similarly for third one fourth one and so on so you will hold this at 120 and then you will just find all the expected values right then you will hold it at 140 you will find the expected mean so jab bhi expected nikalna hai it means you will only for this row you will find the mean ha huh? so for example if here i have to find the mean it will be 79 plus 84 plus 90 plus 94 plus 98 divided by 1 2 3 4 5 Divide by five, and when you will be going ahead and doing that, then you will get the third one as eighty nine, and so on and so forth. So that is the first part to this question, right? The rest I uh, leave it to you to verify. Okay. So the second thing then that it said was, um, as far as I remember, it was you know you wanted to plot this, plot the scatter plot. ऐसा कुछ था. so plotting is pretty simple so then what we can go ahead and do is the following so so i will make a a rough diagram plotting me so for example if i take weekly consumption here and if i take weekly income here so for weekly income of 80 when weekly income is 80 so i will go ahead and take a point of 80 here and against 80 na i will plot different points so 55 60 65 70 and 75 to kya kar sakte hai na ki yahan se i will just start plotting this will be 55 60 65 70 75 and i will just make it like this ha ah, and then uh, the average that we have gone ahead and found out that average is 65 so if abhi to scatter plot banana hai so i'm just making these points but agar third part mein i need to draw the regression line so in regression line i need to join all the averages so i will just keep the 65 in hand right so next thing is suppose my income it goes to say 100 and then i need to jot down these points so 65 70 74 so 65 70 74 will be a bit lower than 75 74 80, 85, 88. So here I will be having 80, 85, and here I will have 90. So just below, uh, you know, in the average of 85 and 90 will be approximately 88. Ha! Huh. And then what will happen is its average is coming down to 77. So I will go ahead and jot down the point 77, which is going to be somewhere here, right? This is only a rough estimate in exam. you will never get to to do this tedious work ha huh? it has to be a work of mind but still you should know how the plotting happens so then again you will do it for 120 and so on so you will join all such points and you will get what becomes your regression line right this is what becomes your regression line okay beta so then it it may ask you that find out the regression line ab bolega find the regression line Here is what is important. देखो एक तरीका रिग्रेशन लाइन को निकालने का बहुत मुश्किल वाला है इन विच यू गो हेड एंड यू फाइंड आउट दिस दिस इंटायर यू नो यू यू फाइंड आउट दिस इंटायर प्रोसेस जहां पे वी हैव दिस फॉर्म्यूला 
the formula is summation xi yi by summation xi square. You go ahead and you put down this formula and you will get the answer. The other and the easier process is that if you look into just, uh, you know, your value, you know, e of y given xi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. So we know from here that beta 2 is d of e of y given xi by d of xi. I know that this beta 2 can be written as the slope of this. So it tells me, beta 2 tells me how the average value of y, conditional mean of y changes as x changes. And now if you just go back to this table that I had made, you will notice that this gap, this gap right here, this gap is of 12 units and this gap is of 20 units. Again, you will notice that this gap is again of 12 units and this is of 20 units. So clearly, if I were to find out d of e y given xi by d of xi, I can clearly find out that always the expected value is changing by 12 and xi is changing by 20. So this is nothing but 6 by 10, so 0 0.60. So I have actually, without going into that formula, that beta 2 is equal to summation xi yi by summation xi square, instead of doing this big thing altogether, I have just gone ahead and found beta 2 as 0 0.60. As 0 0.60. Am I clear with that part? Okay. So now what happens there for beta is I need to go ahead and I need to find out the remaining part which means I need to find out beta 1 also. Then Only then I can find the regression equation. So for beta 1, I know the formula that beta 1 hat will be y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar, right? So beta 2 hat, I have found at 0 0.60 x bar y bar. This will be beta 1 hat. This will be beta 1 hat. Am I clear with this? Okay, beta. So, now we want to take y and x ka mean. Hai hai. So, that is something which you will have to do. It's a tedious task, but you have to do this. So, for finding the value of mean of y, you need to literally go ahead and put all the terms together and add. Sare terms ko ek saath add karna padega. So, 55 plus 60 plus 65 plus 70 plus 75 plus 65. Sara terms, jitna bhi diya hua hai na, you need to go ahead and add all of these terms together. And you need to divide it by the number of observation. So I have gone ahead and done that here. So when you will be doing that and dividing it by the number of observation, aapko mean of y you will get it as 121.2. Please verify. Huh? A lot of times what happens is, you know, human error. You may I may tend to miss out some term. Just say if, if I'm adding in my calculator, maybe I missed out this term. So I want you to verify. So you will add all these observations together divided by the number of observation that will give you the mean of the dependent variable y. Similarly, when you will add all of these terms together and divided by the number of observation, this will give you mean of x. And when you will go ahead and you will put it in this formula, you will get the beta 1 hat as y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar. So, therefore, you have got beta 1 hat as 19.2. You have got beta 2 hat as 0 0.60. You will go ahead and you will just uh, put it in the equation. And your equation will be y is equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi. Right? So, beta 1 hat will be this. Beta 2 hat will be this. Put it and get the answer. Right? Okay.